What's going on guys? My name is Brandon Hainline here with Jeep Informant and today I'm going to be doing an Apple CarPlay review on the Uconnect 8.4 Infotainment Center. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. Today, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, if you would like for me to do a complete review on the 8.4 Uconnect radio on the new Jeep Wrangler, there's a voting poll up here in the top right corner. Just click yes or no. Alright, so we get our brand new Jeep and we are messing with the radio and we see this Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that is grayed out. Now, why is that? Now, the first thing I thought of is, okay, we don't have the phone synced via Bluetooth. So, I went ahead and synced the phone Bluetooth and guess what? They're still grayed out. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and grab the charger that your phone come with, the lightning port there on the end, and plug it into the USB media port. Now, here is the media port for the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and here is the media port for the Jeep Wrangler. Now, once you get your phone plugged into the media port and plugged into the lightning jack there, you will see the Apple CarPlay logo light up right there. Now, also, the phone shows the CarPlay logo now your phone will ask for permission to use Apple CarPlay. This is a one-time thing. Basically, this is gonna mirror your iPhone with selected apps like the phone, music, maps, and messages as you can see there. Now if you go ahead and click maps, as you can see, this is the Apple Maps. This is not the actual map of the Uconnect radio. Now, here we are back at the home screen of CarPlay, and as you can see down here at the bottom, there's these two little dots. Those are for different pages. Now, here is some third-party apps right here. That's what I use to listen to Carolina Basketball, and here's some Amazon Music and audiobooks. Now, whatever you have on your phone will actually be mirrored to the radio so let's go ahead and click podcast and these are some of the podcasts that i listen to now if you look down on the bottom left hand corner you can see a little home button that resembles the home button on your phone that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and hit music and this brings up the music that's on your phone and you can choose from artist playlist and different genres now i'm going to choose a playlist here now the beauty of this is that it mirrors your iPhone so it makes it a lot easier because you know where everything's at. Now one thing on the messages that you'll notice is that you can't, if I try to click it, it's going to ask Laura me. Laura said, we'll see, want to reply? No. Okay. So it won't let you obviously text, you have to use Siri to talk to it and send messages and stuff like that. So. This VR button, voice recognition button, if you just push that one time, okay, you get the Chrysler version of Siri, which you have to explain everything of what you do, detailed instructions, you have to say the right words for it to work, okay? So, if you want Siri to work, what you do... Please try again. Oh, you definitely don't sound like Siri. Cancelled. Alright, so what you do... Is let's push and hold this button there you go now there's Siri okay Siri what's the weather out today it's currently clear and 44 degrees in Statesville temperatures are heading down from 44 degrees this afternoon to 33 tonight well I thank you so make sure if you push the voice recognition button press and hold it and you get the Siri all right, guys, so I just actually found this out and did not realize it, but it makes kind of sense. Uh, I was telling you that you had to push the VR button to get Siri. That's actually not true. All you got to do is say, hey, Siri, what's the weather going to be today? It's currently clear and 44 degrees in Statesville. Temperatures are heading down from 44 degrees this afternoon to 33 tonight. So here we have the phone I can make a call for you or play who should I ring for you cancel okay so it acts just like Siri so it's a wonderful wonderful feature um here we go this is your favorites just like your phone favorites recents contacts keypad 
if you want to hey guys i appreciate you watching there's tons and tons of features that this apple carplay has that i did not go over if you'll just play around with it i'm sure you'll find it if there's something that you don't understand or would like for me to do a video on please leave a comment below i'd like to know your thoughts if you're here till the end you must have liked it so smash that like button and subscribe for more we'll talk to you later thanks